Hello guys and welcome to another exciting episode of E360, a program that touches various aspects of entertainment ranging from dance, fashion, food, movies, you know what's up and the likes. And I remain your host Chidi, trailing you with interesting, exciting topics all the way. Don't go anywhere, let's take a short break, we'll be right back. Welcome back. Now I'm sure that that song took you back memory lane because there are some songs that you like. Ah, we are these people that sang this song. You know, we are these people responsible for these songs. Where are they? I have a couple of them myself. You can't help but wonder where they are. You know what they are doing and how they will thrive in the current music industry. Well, in the studio with me is Ninja Born Musician, the leader of the then Afro pop music group Crazy Culture. He is no other person than Mr. Coleman. <laughs> Mr. Coleman, you're welcome. It's glad yes. having you. All right, Mr. Coleman, um, kindly give us you know, a background of yourself. Like, you know, what prompted you into making music? I'm Mr. Coleman of the Crazy Culture. A member of Crazy Culture do that song, Oya O Jukwa Jukwa, way back. I could recall when I was growing up, my dad used to be a lover of music. He has a lot of record on his shelf. Then I used to play the music back to back whenever my dad is not at home. I used to sing and mime along Sonny Adi music, Ebenezer Obe, Bonnie Hem, and a lot of artists like that. That's how I fell in love with music. The rest is history today. <laughs> okay, all right. So, um, You've been in the mu music scene, you've been off the music scene for a while, and we can't help to wonder, you know, in this time while you were off the music scene, uh, you know, what, what have you been up to? You know, most people are like, hey, I went back to the shelf too, but we want to know, in this period, what have you been no, up you to? Can, you can't really say I'm off the music scene. Okay. Do I might not be much active online, okay. but offline, I do so many, I do perform so many gigs, so many shows, offline shows that I, I don't used to post online. And that's, the music is something that you can't quit because if you leave music, music will leave you. True. So True. I've been active offline, but though online, I'm not that much active. All right. So, um, you know, 
with time, time changes, you know, with time, different things changes. So music, the music industry back in the days, it's def definitely different from what we have today. So how would you compare, you know, mu the music industry, how music was being made, you know, everything totally then and now? Then it's a bit difficult for you to enter studio and record the song. Even after recording the song, you still need to go from one radio station, mm. TV station to another. Mm -hmm. Then there's nothing like social media. But with this modern technology at your fingertip, you can spread your music globally. I think it's more easier right now than way back when we, we used to go from one radio station to another radio station, pleading for radio DJ to slam our music so that we can be air. But with the help of social media, I think it's a bit easier for you to spread your music across. Mm. And how easy is it to even assess the social media? You know, you know these days you have you know, lots of you know, less tag, less... Is it something that comes easily for you to do? Or you know, do you need somebody like a social media strategist? I just want to know. You, know, you said with social media it's easier now. So I just want to know how applicable it is to you, you know, this social media thing. How, you know, how flexible mm, is it's it? It's easier if you have, like, I'm an in independent artist. Okay. I'm doing everything by myself. Mm. I will not say it's easier like that. But if you are under a label or record company, your management will be able to project your brand by settling who they're supposed to settle for your promotion mm. so that you can mm. be well spread. Okay. But as an independent artist, uh, it's not easy like that. Mm. You need to pay all these big time bloggers so that they can post your brand. You need to set with a lot of influencer so that you can go viral. Mm. All everything is based on money, you know. <laughs> yeah, money. yeah, cheddars. Yeah, the money is everything. Money thing, you know? All right, Mr. Coleman. So, um. What is the f your most the favorite part of being a musician and the least part of being a music as a musician? What's the favorite part mm -hmm. and the least favorite part? I would say my favorite part as a musician is that with music, you will travel a lot, meet a lot of important people that will make matters in mm -hmm. your life. But the other way around is that as if your face is shown, like you say, your <laughs> face is shown, your shoe is shine. shine yeah. You can't go out anyhow. True. You need True. body guide. You have to time yourself, mm. program yourself. Mm. You can't just say you want to go to a uh, shopping mall to True. do shopping. Mm. That's the other side of it. But as for the second side, I think it's pleasant. Okay. Being a musician, you travel around the world, mm. meet people that matter. Oh, okay. Um, let's go on a short break. We'll be back. He has more interesting things to tell us. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back. Well, in case you're just joining us, with me in the studio is Mr. Coleman, the lead singer of the Afro pop, of the then Afro pop music group Crazy Culture. Now, we've been discussing music back in the days, and now, you know, he has some juicy information for us. So, uh, Mr. Coleman, well, there's been a lot of talks about, you know, the Afro beat genre kind of music. A lot of artists have come out to say, oh, look, oh, you know, don't box us into this section of music. You know, we do more music than you know, just Afro-pop. So I, I don't know, from your point of view as a veteran, you are an OG, you know, yeah. it's not today. And we, we, different people have, you know, different meanings or ideology to what Afro-pop is. So what's your take on the Afro-pop trend? Right now, Afro music is on the front line. Mm. And this is the best time for us to embrace it and let the world embrace it more. Because I see no reason why you, somebody will be saying Afro beat is limiting is brand to the world. If not for the Afrobeat that took you out from Nigeria to the world, who's going to know you? Now let me take you back to when Jamaican music, reggae music was on the front line. Mm. The whole Jamaican, they embraced their music up to the S10. I think their uh, uh, national football team was named the Reggae Boys. So they showed the love that this reggae music is for us, by us. Mm. Let's embrace it. Well, it's so funny that these days now, most of our guys now, 
want to push our Afro music down. Mm -hmm. Why the like of Chris Brown, Rick Ross, Skepta, they are now embracing Afro beats. Yeah. They want to do more of Afro beats. see a lot of collaborations, true. Well, and I can reason, maybe they are thinking that because they are doing Afro beat, that's why they are not winning Grammy. Okay. And they should understand that the people that control music industry in the Western world, they are not happy the way Afro beat is being dominating everywhere. So they would like to push it down. Sure, you understand? Yeah, yeah. So that is why they are not nominating or giving Nigerian Grammy because if they give Nigerian Grammy, that definitely you are taking over they everywhere. Sweep off everything. So there will be nothing left for them. So they are trying to push Afro beat down. No, you as an artist now, you don't need to look on that. If you are looking on that, that means you are still having second slavery thinking in your head. Mm. So it's our own thing by us. Let's push it out. The way Jamaicans embrace their reggae music, rubber dub. For this time, uh, Shaggy, Shaggy, Sean Paul, Shabarans, they were not doing typical reggae. They are still doing like kind of pop reggae. Okay. But at the end of the day, it's still reggae music. Okay. They are still projecting that reggae music. There was never a time that they pushed reggae music down. So okay. I see no reason why our artists will be saying uh, reggae me and Afro beats is not giving them what they want. Mm. That they are being limited in a circle. Mm. If not for Afro beats, check out Portable today, working out with, well, uh, doing collaboration with Skepta. And the music is right now number one on Apple Music. That's Afro beat pushing on the front line. So we have to embrace our own thing. It's not even on music. I don't know why Nigeria, we don't always like to <laughs> <laughs> embrace our team. Not only on music. <laughs> okay. Even our uh, brother, uh, the boxer, what is his name? Um, Anthony, Anthony Joshua. Joshua. After okay. he won his last match, yeah. shout out, he did shout out to a lot of countries. He didn't mention only Nigeria. Nigeria. <laughs> so okay. I, do, I don't know what was going on. It's time for us to embrace our own act. Uh, okay. That's why I love Baba Fela, Fela Kuti. He refused to stay in America. If you want to leave, or play American music. He has the privilege, but he said he's going to remain in Nigeria to push Afro music to the world. I yeah. think that is what most of us we are still oh. embracing. All right. If you say you are not liking Afro beat or you don't want to play Afro, with that we want it, we we'll grab it. Grab it fast, All right. fast. All right. Okay, Mr. Kuman. So um, you you called you called a number of artists. So I, I'd like to ask, what artists inspire you? You have artists that have inspired you in the past and the present. Mm, what artists inspire you? When I was growing up, I do listen to New Edition and Musical Youth. I don't know if you know New Edition. Bobby Brown. Oh, okay. Bobby, Bobby Brown, Brown. Yeah. yeah. I would say New Edition really inspired. The first time I watched them on national TV, I was really inspired that, oh man, this guy are good. I have to do this thing. Not until I started going to Fela's shrine. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> not Femi's shrine, no. Fela, Fela himself, himself. Gone, gone. Okay. So not until then. So my love for music just keep growing and growing. That is how. That is how. Okay, so um, with the current crop of musicians we have now, you know, in Nigeria, which of them would you like to, you know, work with, you know? Yeah, um, I would like to work with Flavor. Okay. Is there a reason why? Or, or you want to call yeah, it? Yeah, Flavor, you know why? Flavor is a versatile vita, musician. Okay. He's an instrumentalist. He can do high life. He can do afro. He can do dancehall. Mm -hmm. So I think if I work with uh, Flavor, it's going to be a good, oh, a good collaboration. All right. So um, what, what, what are you doing? You know, what, what fans outside would like to know, okay, hey, what's Mr. Kuman up to? You know, we've seen Jukpa, the old Jukpa, you understand. And yeah, the new one is out there, which our viewers will be seeing very soon. So what, what, what exactly are you up to? What should fans be, you know, hoping from Mr. Jukpa? Yeah, oh, like I Kuman, said, I, there was no very time I've relent mm -hmm. from music. I've always been trying to push myself to the world. Uh, right now, I have a new song titled How Is It? I think that music is pushing very well right now. If you mm -hmm. check out my Instagram page, you see how the music is going mm -hmm. very well. So there was never a time I give up music. I've always been doing music, but being an independent artist, it's not easy like that to get to the front line. But I know one day, one day, 
the world will hear from me again as long as I'm still pushing on. Yeah, definitely the world will hear from you. So, All right. So, um, so um, before we'd be playing a game, right? We're playing a short game. It's okay. just something, nothing too serious. Yeah, I just ask you questions, you punch it. But before we play that game, All right. let's go on a short break or let's treat you with the current edition, the newer edition of Jupa. Jupa, right. Jupa Upgrade. Jupa Upgrade. Yeah. All right, watch it. Let's see. Excuse me, baby. Yeah. I need to go to the Olon Jupa 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 Shade Lon Judy. Boba Morgan Ready. Olon Jupa 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 Jupa. I just wanna make you. I just wanna make you. You body go, baby body go, so body go do something. I just wanna make you happy. I just wanna make you holla. Back, well, that was colorful. The Jupa upgrade, in, indeed, that that's an upgrade. <laughs> Thank you Kudos very much. Kudos to you, Mr. Coleman. So, um, now, like I said earlier, we're going to play, be playing a short game. I'm going to ask you 10 questions, and you're going to be asking like, pa, 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 on the spot. All right, so you ready? Is, is there going to be a bonus or something to take <laughs> <laughs> Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> so let's just, um, let's see how it goes. You ready? Yeah, let's go. All right, then. So, what's your favorite venue for performing? Muzon Center. Okay. What's the, so that was the meaning of the social media acronym, TTYL? Social media acronym, TTYL, that abbreviation, TTYL. Ah. Let's, let's, let's go to the next one. What's your favorite sport? Sports, basketball. Basketball. What's your favorite food? Beans and plantain. Beans and plantain. Do do at All right. What's your favorite movie of all time? Apocalypse. Apocalypse. Okay, that's okay. All right. I know Apocalypse. I've seen it myself. Best memory you've ever had of yourself? Uh, the day I shook hands with fellow Nicola Pukuti. Ah, the legendary. Yeah. All right. Worst moment, you know, that moment you don't want to think of? Uh, the day I escaped lynching. <laughs> they want to leech you. <laughs> All right. Whiskey, vodka, or champagne? Champagne. Champagne. Ah, Baba Champagne. Yeah, mm. I like champagne. All right. Cinema or beach? Beach. Beach. All right. What are the top three things of your bucket list? That top three places, top three things you like to do? I like to do music. I, something I like to do. Your places you like to see, three things of your bucket list, experiences okay. you like to have. I would like to go to Jamaica. Mm -hmm. I would like to visit Egypt. And I would like to maybe have dinner with Tiwa Savage. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, well, I share with you. Me, when you're having that dinner with Tiwa Savage, please, uh, you just call me. Me, I won't mind you. Why? Wow, you'll be <laughs> on the bed. All right. So, the, so um, the meaning of the social media acronym TTYL is talk to you later. 
Wow. <laughs> Thanks for all that. Right. All right, boss. All right, boss. So it's been a pleasure having you, Mr. Coleman. All the time. All, right. all the best, all the best, all the best to you. One love music. you. All right. So we've come to the end of this episode of E360. Until next time, stay jiggy. Excuse me, baby. Yeah. I need to go to the Olon Jupa 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 Shade Lon Judy. Boba Morgan Reddy. Olon Jupa 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 Jupa. I just wanna make you. I just wanna make you. Body go be body go somebody go do something. I just wanna make you happy. I just wanna make you holla. Oh yeah, you said, you said, best said, best said, best said, best said, best said. Oh yeah, oh, Juba, oh yeah, oh, Juba, Juba, oh yeah, oh. Up the gig stuff like yeah. Yeah. Make a play with guitar yeah. like Koba Koba Kaja Koba Ro. I get get the brother. He get your motion. From Mela to the Highland. Oh man away. Jupa to upgrade. My people gyrate. Mr. Coleman enter from the center. Make me tear and bow ha. I like the way you Jupa. In fact, I really want to fit ba. Oh yeah, you body go do something. Go be body go do something. Oh yeah, oh, Jupa. Oh yeah, oh, Jupa, Jupa. Oh yeah, oh, do something, do something, do something, do something. Oh yeah, oh.